Hello everybody, this is Operatio here, and I am playing the Halo 5 Master Beta! <laughs> no. Um, yeah guys, I'm playing the Halo 5 Guardians Beta, and obviously a lot of old Halo fans are kind of concerned about all the new changes about it, and everything, so I'm here to tell you about my opinions about this game. And I'm telling you right now, I freaking love it. After Halo 4, I was like, man, I, I, I don't think there's any other multiplayer Halo style. Halo multiplayer style, I'll, I'm gonna like better than Halo 4. But these guys, but, but 3 for 3 Industries pretty much just topped it. I just love the way this is, especially the level design. It's just intense. And they've done with it. And, uh, sorry about that, something's wrong with my nose today. Uh, and of course, so I'm gonna start off by breaking this down about everything inside Halo 5. And I'm gonna first start off. Uh, can we please find a game? God! Anyway, I'm going to first start off with ADS. Now, ADS, you know, everyone's crying about it. In reality, it's not that much different other than having an animation where the gun moves in front of you. Before, you'd always, before with, like, the DMRs or battle rifles or the Magnum, you always just zoomed in. That's pretty much all it was. You zoomed in. That's pretty much what this is, too, except there's a little bit of a twist to it other than the gun moves in front of you. Um, normally when you shoot... You'll see the reticle actually move out, and you lose accuracy. Um, now, now the gun just moves like how it would in COD. So, it is ADS, unfortunately. I don't prefer it over the old ways. It isn't terrible. It does have its own Halo spin to it. And so, I really don't think it's bad. It's not gonna ruin the game for you. Especially how when you get shot, you get pulled out of it. So, it's more or less something for picking on people when they're far away, basically. The most obnoxious one, though, is the DMR, because the entire ACOG site on that thing blocks your screen. That's about as annoying the ADS skits in this game. So don't be too concerned about that. And could we please find a game, for God's sakes? Next, I'm going to talk about clambering. Yes, clambering, when you grab onto a ledge and pull yourself up. Honestly, not bad. Because before, it was like, if you didn't make it, you just straight up didn't make it. And honestly, it's not really a bad thing. There's even a couple downsides to it. When you, when you, while you're doing the animation, you cannot shoot while clambering. Meaning, if there's a target over there on, the, on this ledge, and you clamber up, he has a chance to shoot or punch at you. Meaning, you're at a slight disadvantage. So, obviously, it's not OP. It's not going to give you some kind of major edge. It's just to help you when, you know, when you, do, when you, when you just barely miss by half an inch. Yeah, I got my nose. And next, there's also the um, the thruster pack. This is fun to use. It has a, uh, I believe, like a four second recharge on it every time you use it. Now, obviously, you can use it to like dash out of the way. What I like to do is I actually like to use it to, um, to kind of get a bit of a head start and use it to dodge grenades because that's where it's really helpful. To be honest. Ah, <laughs> damn. Another thing you do is is you can actually use it to help you. Um, Another thing you do is, is if you jump up and you hit something and you're sort of floating off in the wrong direction and you're like kind of like stuck in midair, you can actually use it to like thrust yourself out of the way and get yourself the way you're trying to go. Basically. Now, there's also the ground pound. The ground pound is lame. I mean, there's, you almost never, and you probably will never use this thing. It has such limited range and such limited reach and everything. When you manage to get it to work and you actually do kill someone with it, it's pretty awesome. You know? And there are a few rare occasions where it really is helpful. If there's an enemy right below you and you're having trouble shooting him and he's trying to hide from you, you can always just use it to pound him on like that. It's pretty helpful. And so I I rarely ever find people using it. So if you're afraid people are going to be ground pounding all over the place, tr trust me, you're fine. Assassination still in the game and still as awesome as ever. Sliding, absolutely, positively useless. Who are you playing with? Oh, oh, I'm right now. Huh? How are you doing, Mom? Okay, then the slide, absolutely, positively, freaking useless, in every single manner of the way. Basically, you just, there's nothing you can do, nothing good about it. 
I just never ran into a single situation where that was ever helpful. Basically. Basically it. There's nothing helpful. Um, I mean, it's just, it has short range. It's not gonna shoot you anyway. It's, you're not dodging anything. Wow, okay, thank you so much for kicking me out of that. Now, if you can find me a game, please. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no situations. It's just, it's just not really useful by any means, to be honest. I mean, it's just, it's just a waste. On top of that, you have to wait until your, um, speed is at max, and then you can do it. Now, also, sprinting! Another thing people absolutely hate, I love sprinting! By every single manner of the means, and it's awesome. I love it, I love the speed it's at. I hate the animation, though. Um, you know, to be honest, guys, I was really hoping there'd be some Halo gameplay I could put behind this, but, uh, Halo 5's being a bit of a dick right now, and I can't find a game, so this sucks. Yeah. Um... So next, what else is there? Say so sprint deck. Oh yeah, also when you sprint, your shields do not regenerate. And believe me, remember that. I always run out there, forget my shields are down, and just get obliterated. To be honest. So sprinting is actually a lot of fun and awesome. I don't like the animation for it though. Another th and um I think I've covered about just about everything. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's just about it. Mailing is the same, okay, blah blah blah. So yeah, now I'm going to talk to my minor complaints, and that is the pinging sound you get when you shoot someone, the ching chang, ching ching chang, ching chong, ching chang. It's the most ear-bleeding, annoying thing I've ever heard. In COD, it's like a tush noise when you hit somebody, and I never like that either. I hate this even more. I hope there's a one day they add a setting where you could turn that off. I hate it by every single matter of the means hate it um what else is there oh yeah also your thruster packs are blue when you sprint your thruster pack your thrust your your thruster packs will turn on turn blue what all that shit and it looks like a it looks like there's a grenade stuck to them and the thing about this is is that if you sprint if someone's sprinting and you try to throw a sticky grenade you'll actually think you hit them but they, then they won't explode, and you're like, shit, I didn't get them. Crap. And it's like, they should, like, change it to, like, a green or something, or, like, a blue-green, so you can stand out and it can be different. Or else, otherwise, it just looks confusing, and it's not helpful. And, goddammit, can I please find a game? I wanted gameplay behind this, but this is... Ah. Um, let's see. What else is there? Um... Hmm, I know it's not everything. It can't be everything. Jim Poshuber. Hmm. Guess that should might be all of it. I don't know, guys. Um, I think that's just about it. Um, check the description to see, um, in case I actually left anything out. Because if I left something out, it'll be in the description. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah, my overall opinion, or just another thing is, it still does feel like Halo. By every single mean, feels like Halo. Some people think it's not even Halo anymore. It still feels an awful lot like Halo still. So don't worry if you're afraid that this is going to be nothing like the old games. It's it's still a lot of fun. It still feels like Halo. It's great. And that, guys, this is Operation, and I'll see you. Hey, guys, if you like what you saw, then subscribe to the Random Shopping Cart channel for more. Do it. It's free. No tax.